Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. The WBO mandatory challenger Oleksandr Usyk has been diligently working away in training camp in the Ukraine as he prepares for Anthony Joshua in the United Kingdom September 25th. And now we have a better flavour of who he's been working with as he readies himself for the unified champion Joshua. So see here on screen, so this is a picture that Usyk17 Promotions, that's Usyk's promotional company, has posted on social media. So in addition to this, we also know he's been working with Martin Bacoli, but I'll come to that. But we'll start with this picture. So from left to right, we'll go. So Alexander Zarkozy is on the left hand side. So and he actually looks smaller in this photo. But here's another one with him and Usyk standing together. And Zarkozy is six foot eight, six foot eight and a half, something there or thereabouts, sometimes listed at six foot nine. But as you can see from this footage running on screen, pretty athletic guy. And he does move quite well. He's big. Not necessarily the biggest puncher, but he is a decent boxer and he has improving skills. So he's currently unbeaten at 15-0 and, and not a bad guy, a big guy to have in your training camp. And he's got a lot of big time training camp experience before as well, having been in a couple of uh, Alexander Povetkin camps in recent years, including the one where um, Povetkin was training for Joshua. So actually a well-seasoned sparring partner, as well as an unbeaten prospect at this point, Zakozi, good man to have in camp, brings a lot of good experience to the table here. Uh, next to him, you have another guy who's also, like Zakozi, a Ukrainian, and actually a Ukrainian flavor through some of these sparring partners here. You've got Vladimir Katsuk. And Katsuk is another guy who's been in a lot of different training camps. And here you can see him with Vladimir Klitschko. So this is from about five or six years ago, something there or thereabouts. So Katsuk at the moment, currently 3-0 and as a pro. But really, he's had a decent amateur career. He's been in a lot of camps and with the Ukrainian scene pumping out guys like Alexander Usyk and obviously Vladimir Klitschko before that. He's able to go in here, get experience for himself, but also give some good work to Usyk. So a good guy to have in camp. And also going back to that Povetkin camp from 2018, he was there alongside Alexander Zarkozy. Next to Katsuk, third from the left, is the Kazakh heavyweight Ruslan Mirzatayev. So he's been relatively inactive in terms of his pro career in recent years, so he's an unbeaten prospect, but he is actually in his uh, mid-30s at this point. Um, so he was a decent amateur, but really hasn't sort of done much as a pro so far. Solid guy to have in camp. Next to him is Viktor Vikurst, and you can see uh, with Usyk next to him, uh, Vickhurst is six foot four, so that gives you a bit of a scale of these other guys here. Some pretty tall timber in the camp. So Victor Vickhurst currently also another prospect. He's Ukrainian. He is actually unbeaten at seven and zero at the moment. So he's already fought the likes of Kamil Sokolowski and handled him comfortably enough. So currently he's been fighting in Germany for his career, otherwise sometimes known as, at least in Germany, Victor Faust. Apparently the Faust nickname is just easier for, to, for the Germans to sort of say and take to him because Vickhurst is obviously a little harder and also the spelling of it, not the easiest. But he is a good technical boxer, very good skills, but like some of these other guys, not necessarily a massive puncher, but very good from range good jab and that will be something that Usyk will be facing against Joshua a stiff jab on the other side of Usyk I'm actually not sure who this guy immediately to his right is so if anyone can tell me in the comments much appreciated he it may actually be an amateur uh, but on the far right is Yevgenius Lazaridis so he's a Greek heavyweight a record of 17 and 3 most recently fought and lost to Ajit Kabaya but he is a solid guy who's been in a number of camps and as you can see big guy as well so he's about six foot six so a lot of tall timber as you can see next to Usyk so you know you might sort of go these guys aren't that big but actually they're sort of six four and above some of these guys are six six to six eight tall timber good sort of sparring partners for Alexander Usyk like Martin Bacoli Bacoli also another big heavyweight you can see here this is a little video that Bacoli had posted uh, from within the training camp and immediately in front of him you can see Zarkozy 
and in the background on the bag is Alexander Usyk. So Martin Bacoli, he's a decent uh, sparring partner as well, and he's got a lot of sort of inside knowledge about Anthony Joshua, having sparred many rounds with Joshua over the years. So that's going to be invaluable for someone like Alexander Usyk. Get some, you know, inside stories and scoops and a few different things and maybe tendencies of Joshua's that he can sort of relay for Usyk to potentially take advantage of. And as we know as well, Martin Bacoli, very good at distance. Not so such a great inside fighter, but when he does keep it long and use that stick, he is actually very hard to box with. So that will be very good for Usyk trying to get around the jab, trying to sort of cut the distance and use his angles. So that would be very good sparring for Alexander Usyk. Bacoli there just for a few weeks as he was preparing for a fight in the UAE. But this photo and also Bacoli, the main sparring partners, there may be a few others that aren't here that have already come and gone, but it gives you a flavor of what Alexander Usyk has been doing in camp and who with. What do you make of it all? Drop a comment loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe, or follow me on Twitter. Boxing underscore squared. I'm out.